Hello, this is Michael Rashad. Got a very, very simple technique here that will make your navigation very simple indeed. I have an admin table, and in the admin table, I've created a field called Navigation Labels. It's a global field, and it has 25 repetitions right now. And what I'm going to use this for is to store the name of the layout that I want to go to. So if we go back, you'll notice that the items are numbered in red alongside. And this is just for reference, so I don't have to count down through the fields. And I've separated into groups of five, also, again, for convenience. So repetition one has product, goes to layout product detail, repetition two, products lists, repetition three, package detail, etc. So that's the very first part. And remember that these are the layout names that I'm actually using within the program. If we now go to our navigation buttons and we look at the button setup, you'll see that this particular button is running a script, or they all run a script called Global Navigation. And the parameter is six, or the number of the repetition that I'm looking to go to on my admin table. So let's open the script. And as you can see, it's very straightforward. I'm going to the layout, get repetition, admin navigation labels. So I'm going to the layout using this very short script. Get repetition, admin navigation labels, and the script parameter, which is the number of the repetition that I want to go to. Now in this script, I've also got a, an adjust window script, which just simply adjusts the window if I need to resize it. And then I set the window title with the name of the layout that I want it to be. Now, in some cases, you may not want to do this last one because you may want to use a generic window name, but this is what I've chosen to do right here. Very short, very simple script. This is Michael Rashad. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. Bye-bye.